Arcadia is a much more experienced uh, Lucas than the previous one we had on stream. You know, he knows uh, his, um, his, um, Zare air dodge, whatever, I don't know what to call it. The Zare string to, like, carry people from one side of the stage to the other. Scabs is a key role, but being big bodied and not really having the speed to, like, run down, uh, Lucas might be a bit tricky for him to find his way in. Just for the quick suck. So both of them just kind of trying to open each other up, trying to get a lead. Or like, all right, so both of them just about even percents, but if Arcadia had shot out the other way, he might have just died for it. Yeah, the percents may be even, but like with the difference in weight, k -Roll definitely just thrives much better, and there's that four to it almost killing. Arcadia messes up the recovery, shoots too far into the stage, gets trapped underneath there and dies. Even if he did get the bounce, he's just gone from there. Alright, uh, Scabs is going to go low. There we go, the little helicopter coming to the rescue. Knocking Arcadia away before he can get clipped by the down smash. But he isn't going to be able to evade high that time. And I'm going to pass off this headset to... Me! Yeah, I <laughs> That's good, it's Arcade. All right, Scabs versus Arcadia, interesting. All right, Scabs definitely been playing a lot more K Rule. Even. Jeez, oh. that's a big block of ice. Yeah. Big boys. Yeah, there we go, trying to catch him with the uh, down air. Couple of mid recovery. But yeah, no, uh, Scabs has been playing more K Rule due to the buffs. With the, I believe, reduced landing lag on uh, neutral air, I believe. It allows for more mix ups on shield. If he times it just right. No oh! pressure. Oh! And he gets spiked trying to edge guard Arcadia. I think he thought Arcadia was going to go for the uh, tether. Yep. Nice parry, but. Yeah, nothing for it. It's kind of slow. Oh, but catch him rolling twice. Honestly, yeah, yeah, that's smart. It's because it's just like, all right, at this point, you're just trying to weave around me. You're yeah. probably going to go in with an attack or something like that. Yeah. And you see you've avoided it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go for this armored down smash. All right, wait it out. That's also, it's also really smart that he waited and didn't do any projectile or anything of any yeah, sort. because it like, is a reflection. Exactly. And Arcadia, I'll think for like these, oh, oh no. Oh, oh the oh, that's it. Oh, oh no, okay, good mash. All right, he's going to be able to make it back, but he has to, there we go. Again, helicopter coming to the rescue. Yeah, that hitbox so useful. Oh, he oh, almost got swinging. that. And his air actually didn't connect. I think Arcadia fell into the ground too early for it to actually accomplish something. He has no jump. He has to, like, yeah. Ah, yeah, that's going to do it. No question. He lost his jump trying to get through the uh, PK Thunder. Yeah. And because it is a multi-hit, it just dragged him all the way down, so he did die for it. Honestly, the thing is, when you get hit by uh, ne uh, by Lucas's PK Thunder, sometimes you just have to take it. Like, yeah. Because its purpose is specifically to make you waste your jump. It's not like uh, Ness is where it's going to kill you super early or anything or like, like that. Or shoot you off the top. Right. So it's like, all right, just chill at times. And there's uh -huh. the Mario. I was hoping he would bring this out game one, but I think he was committed to the K roll. Yeah, I think honestly there are certain situations where it's like he could have absolutely handled it uh, like at the end when he had uh, almost gotten that up air. He could have handled it getting a grab or something like that, but Mario is probably just a safer bet and he's probably feeling uh, less confident in the K roll, which is important. Yeah, faster, smaller bodied. You don't have to worry about like stray uh, projectiles just coming at you. But I guess Mario might be easier to Zara carry to the ledge. That's interesting because I feel like I feel like that can't be right. Yeah, I feel sure. like because Arcadia wasn't going for it at all, uh, the last game, he like he actually missed it. But then I don't know, maybe it's just like uh, warming up the hands, trying to get the mechanics in. Yeah, that's a possibility. But right nice now, I think reflect. part of the issue is that Scabs isn't necessarily doing anything crazy different or crazy special with the Mario. He's generally getting hit by the same stuff. He's just all right, smaller and. Uh, has, I guess, a better disadvantage, but he's not Ooh. really using Catching too much of it. Double jump. That was, that was a really good forward smash. But yeah, I guess what I was saying is that he's sort of just still pressing buttons, and that's why he's getting hit by a bunch of Zares, getting hit by a bunch of PK Fires, stuff like that. But now when he gets close enough, he can absolutely handle it. And especially because uh, he got that lead with the forward smash. Alright, so again, these back airs coming to the rescue, much faster out of shield and uh, aerial punish mark punishment options versus the K roll. Looking for a cheeky little jab lock there. Could have taken out the stock if he got it. Yep. 
Ooh, that was way far away from anything. And that's a big hitbox on that uh, down smash. Nice. I think we're just in there on the shield instead of taking the grab and took him off stage. But yeah, yeah, I'm curious about that as well. That looked like some weird DI. I'm not sure what that was. And Scabs looked a bit confused there too. All right. Yeah, the up B is just going to launch him straight to the top platform, allows him to be a little bit safer with it. And again, the double back air. Every time, like, Arcadia, unless he's pressing forward air, like, none of his buttons are really fast enough to, like, fight scabs if they get close to each other. Yep. And I think, th I think that's part of the thing, because it's like, what's been happening is that, again, scabs is just run. Ooh, ooh! Yeah, scabs okay. is just running in a bunch. Ooh, catches the cape. He tries to float him away. But the thing is, it's working out a little bit better because uh, Arcadia is getting antsy because he's There's down. Yep. And now, especially here, Scab is going to be able to take advantage of this again. It's like, all right, you're going to have to come to me. That means that you're pressing forward into me. You're not spacing for me coming into you. And we all know how Mario's out of shield can be between the neutral air, back air, and the up beat. Absolutely. Not to mention, Lucas doesn't actually have like the best spacing options on shield. So you can actually just grab him. If he misses, oh, misses the spacing again. Yeah, that shield was getting kind of small. Yep. Can't be shielding those. Oh! oh, yeah, bro. All right. Yeah, that was that was really smart. It's like he was like, oh, hey, well, should I roll here? No, probably not. It's like my shield is really low. Maybe I should just jump out of the way. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that was that. Again, it's <laughs> – I forget who said it, but jumping in ultimate is the best worst option. Yes. Because, it's like, you, no one really, like, grabs out of shield unless you know it's a laggy button. Right. Or you have, like, a decent enough grab. It's like most people like will just straight up jump, but they won't press a button right away because they're afraid of getting punished. Because what's the name of the game? Space aerial into like spot dodge or shield on yep. shield and wait for them to punish. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, if he had time let that go just a bit later, I think he might have actually had to stock there. Again, good job using the cape to reflect the uh, PK Ooh! freeze. Yeah, runs right into that one. Yeah, I think he was expecting it to just kind of like Scabs was kind of like playing in and out, throwing fireballs, and just waiting for Arcadia to approach. But this time he just went up and went for blood, and yep. he got it there. Ooh, that was that was good stuff from Scabs. I feel like uh, Arcadia could have really uh, taken uh, a bit more. Uh, he could have taken a bit more time there. Basically, it's like as soon as the percent got to like 50, 70, whatever the case is, it's like all right, Scabs is gonna try and still scrap with you. So it's like just hold back a little bit. Just go straight for the zoning options. We are on town, so Arcadia does kind of have like a wider like shooting gallery to play around on. Yep, absolutely. And the higher ceiling is not going to be great for Mario's up smash either. The flip side, none of them can really afford to be playing around on the ledge, especially with. Oh, okay, there we go. Choosing to oh, okay, go high with the up beat to interrupt them out of the down smash. Yep. All right, has to get out of the corner, but Scabs is just going to give it to him. Throws his fireball, interrupts him. And he's, like, he's looking for the rolls with like the, oh my gosh, he's like, I don't even know like what Scabs is looking for, but he's like, there's a universe where he's out here, where are these <laughs> moves connected, and he's thinking so far ahead that he's not even thinking, he's like, wait, I missed. Oh right. well. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, right, again, so if, it, he, if he just back airs. It really oh, he went for the instant trump. Right. Ah, I see. That makes and sense. Yeah, Arcadia was kind of dashing in and out, and Scabs just lets it rip. Yep. We gotta be careful here. Ooh, oh, why would manages. you stall? Just, you just fall. Yeah. <laughs> he had the right idea, but I think he was thinking to reflect it. But he mistimed how fat or how slowly, rather, the uh, PK freeze actually like descends on its way down. All right, jumps right in. Gives Scabs a chance to even it up and also get uh, stage control here. Scabs unable to catch the directional air dodge, doesn't react in time. Honestly, I Scabs' positioning throws have been confusing me this entire set. Because it's like he'll throw towards the center of the stage, and I guess I understand because it's like, oh, going for the DI mix up. But then at the same time, it's like it just doesn't seem to be working. Yeah. I think he might also just like. He doesn't want to steal like his quote unquote kill throws. If, right. If, like in the situation, he does catch him, where he is like edge guarding him a lot. No, I I feel that 100. At the same time. Oh, <laughs> just reflect like the fireball. It. Doesn't have to worry about too much there. Yeah. It's really just one of those things that stops you for a second, 
there we go. Back throw. And that'll do it. Yep. You know, the interesting thing is, I, I always forget how laggy PK Thunder is. Uh, it's Ooh. a solid edge guarding option, but it's not nearly as lagless as, say, PK Freeze. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, that back throw is going to delete him. Yeah. That was, like, straight off. I, I don't even know uh, what the DI was, right. but it could just be like the, all right, let's reset this immediately. All right, so this stage layout isn't too desirable for what Mario wants since he is looking to, like, ladder him off the top or at least build damage that way. Since Mario doesn't really combo uh, horizontally, but more so vertically, outside of double back air. <laughs> so he's just kind of, all right, just playing it slow. And once these platforms come back in, I believe, it's, is it 30 seconds, 15 seconds? Hold up. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Regret those no. scabs! Oh. No. That is... That's not the way you wanted to go. He had the bright idea to go deep. I think he tried to just B reverse cape, but he might have been holding the down input. Yeah. That killed him. That is so, so, so unfortunate. You know, I, it, it, it's not... It's, I don't know. You just hate to see a set end that way. Like, yeah, no it's just matter. kind of like, all right, he's pressing advantage, and then suddenly... Just drops just like a rock, yeah.